So, Paki, did you always want to be an actor growing up? Uh, yes, either I wanted to be an actor or I wanted to be uh, an actor pretending to be Maradona. I was always quite good <laughs> at looking like I had the ball in my hand. I was always quite good with the legs of the rake on me. I was always loud. I could always tell other people what to do. But when yeah. the ball came to me, it was sort of like, okay, hold on, what's, you know, where's the ball? So I knew right away that I wasn't going to be a professional footballer. Um, I was also knew very well at a young age that it's uh, I loved uh, entertainment as much as any other kid that yeah. was in the area. So it, was, it, was it was it was it the next best thing for you then? It was yeah. It was it was it was a close second between that. And yeah. Football, you know? <laughs> and then obviously because I'm a bit small, you know, obviously then I'm not a professional footballer, you know. Ah <laughs> uh, no, it's, it's changed on now, hasn't it? As well, the mentality yeah. was always was he's too small, and then and then Messi come along, and then they've changed everything. Messi and Iniesta have changed the whole is the, uh, whole, the whole message to, from coaches. Yeah. Man. Although there was a small section in my life between Rocky One and Rocky Four where I wanted to be a boxer. Other than that, I've always wanted to be an actor. <laughs> 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 you can't help it when you hear that music. You know you're up. And you're I know. Away. I know. I used That's to eat the one. dinner with toilet roll around my hands <laughs> <laughs> instead of wraps and toilet roll. My boy used to what, 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 what were you hitting as the heavy bag though? You wouldn't have had a heavy bag in the house. Hit the air. Just you know, <laughs> just used to run about. i just used to hit nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, they always wanted to be. Uh, a professional actor. Um, ah, good stuff. Um, good stuff. Tell me, yes, have you always wanted to be a professional footballer? Or, or, or to be honest, I, I mean, is it dancing maybe in the end? Football or what? That's it, yeah. Like, I think uh, I, the, my, my mentality changed when I picked my 40s. I think that's what it is. <laughs> ah, no, of course. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I'd, I'd have been the same as, as most kids growing up, just kicking a ball around the street. Luckily enough, my brother growing up was a handy footballer himself, so he was, a, he was a couple of years ahead of me. So I was always out on the street playing with him. So I had lads around me who were all decent footballers. And I was obviously the young kid that was getting beat up, that was getting thrown around, that was getting digs off everybody. And I, and I, just, wanted, and I was just wanted to be a player and play like them. So, you know, the, 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 I think the best thing, certainly for us growing up, our generation, there actually wasn't as much football on TV. So... I could yeah. get out and, and I was playing rather than actually watching. So all I would do from, certainly if I'm, if I'm talking about school holidays, I'd, I'd be out of the house at nine in the morning with a ball under my arm yeah. until probably nine in the evening. I'd really go home and it was just football in the streets. And, and that was how it was with my, my brother and me growing up. And so we had loads of kids in, I, I'm, I was from a, a council estate in Preston where I grew up. And there were so many kids from different countries. There was kids from Scotland, Ireland, like ourselves. There was, you know, so many different nationalities that were growing up there. And everyone loved yeah. kicking a ball around. So, luckily enough, I managed to, to progress and do quite well.